Hey guys, so I thought I'd do a little catch up this week. I need to tell you a little something. I discovered Costco. They have jelly bellies, which I'm obsessed with. Look how many I've eaten, you guys. <laughs> serving size is about 35 pieces and there's 140 calories per serving. So I'm a fat ass. <laughs> Lucky me. Speaking of getting a fat ass, I've actually been looking into moving to LA. A lot of you think I'm in LA already or San Francisco. I'm actually in Sacramento, which is the capital of California. It is definitely closer to LA, but LA is where my heart is and that's where all the acting and singing and creative people are. So I've been looking into moving there and I was thinking, you know, three four hundred dollars a week that'll be a good budget what's that like twelve hundred a month surely there'll be something even if it's a share house it'll be great <laughs> not so great uh i didn't realize how corrupt los angeles is have a look at this i was looking on craigslist and there are some people that rent out a bunk bed for twelve hundred dollars a week and I was like oh twelve hundred dollars you get your own room no that's the cost of your bed you share with you know eight to ten other people in the house it'll be in a really rundown area it's not good so I I'm uh, I'm concerned I mean obviously you guys know my taste I would love to live in Bel Air or Beverly Hills or even Calabasas if I want to go further Santa Monica I assumed would be a lot because it's by the ocean but guys with my budget I'm destined to fail like I have to get a acting job before I get there people actually rent out bunk beds at $1,200 a week and I kid you not I found an ad to rent a camper van they said you cannot drive it you cannot move it it's purely for just sleeping in you know, mattress, pillows, sheets included, and that was $1,200 a week. I'm in shock. And I've been watching, you know, how to make it in Hollywood, because obviously that's my dream. And there was a guy I watched in his like 40s or 50s, and he was not the business. Let me tell you, his interview pretty much went like this, and I was looking to be inspired this is how it went. Yeah, so I moved to Hollywood when I was in my 20s. I'm now, you know, 48. I gave myself two years to make it, and I thought that was generous. Here I am 20 years later, and I haven't made it. So if you have a dream of being an actor, don't. <sighs> That's not inspiring at all. That actually kills dreams. This guy has the biggest chip on his shoulder. Yeah, so if you have dreams, just... um. Just give up. It's too expensive. No one wants to hire you. It's who you know, you know? Well, that's great because I know no one. Um, <laughs> now, I've literally moved here. I don't have a lot of friends, I'll be honest, so it gets kind of lonely. I thought, you know, doing acting classes and getting out there, maybe doing a sport, heaven forbid, just something to make friends and socialize. But if I'm moving to LA soon, I was like, what's the point, you know? Let's just watch YouTube and pretend like I have friends. When I saw the prices in LA, I was in shock. The first time I went to LA, there was a street full of homeless people. And I always thought, you know, that's a lot of homeless people. And then last night I read that there's 500,000 American people that are homeless. That is insane. So, you know, I've been looking at LA and if anyone can help me with good recommendations on you know, where I should look, because I know there's good areas and bad areas, like Compton, I heard isn't so safe, and Beverly Hills is impossible to get into. So, if you guys know of the best places to live that is safe, that I can literally walk around the block and just be fine, that would be great. Any recommendations help? It honestly is who you know. If you don't know anyone and you just wanna be an actress, it sounds really difficult. You watch this space, it'll happen. There's no Australian crazy redhead actresses yet, right? Maybe there are. Oh well, not as annoying as me. <laughs> Guys, I need help, I need tips on where to go, who to see, who to meet. People say Kim Kardashian, you know, she was a personal assistant for Paris and, you know. By the way, 
these jelly beans. So addicted. Oh my god. But, you know, I thought I'd do a video on catching up on why I moved, first of all. I've got a really good um, opportunity here. I've been very lucky, but now I think it's time to start looking into going to LA and seeing what happens. You never know. The way I see it is if people like Danny DeVito and Morgan Freeman don't make it till their 50s, what's the rush, you know? <laughs> No, I'm kidding. But there's so many young actresses that just make it and then disappear. I don't want to be like that. I want to be like Meryl Streep, who's always around. She's always in a whole different bunch of movies. So if you guys can give me tips on where to live, what uh, good places to live are, obviously, you know, Beverly Hills might be out of the question, but maybe if I lived in a share house or did something like that. Also, the other stigma with LA, <laughs> that was my breakfast. I can't eat if I go to LA. I've been told I'm chubby and have gummy teeth. But that's me, baby. <laughs> no, I don't think they've seen very many Australian honey blonde haired comedians. So I'm not concerned about rejection. I've had rejection my whole life, but I'm more concerned about living safely. So yes, I just couldn't believe what I found on Craigslist. Like some of these ads are just, mm. Come stay in my camper van, you won't be kidnapped at all. <laughs> I'm surprised it doesn't have free candy written on the side. All right guys, that's just a little life update. Sacramento, I love you, but you're just a little boring for me. Not gonna lie. It's kind of where people go to retire and settle down with a family, which I am not ready to do either of those things. I'm ready to live my life and become an actress because that's my dream. Sacramento, love you, but you're destroying my dreams. All right, guys, love you as always. Let me know what you want to see next. A lot of you have been asking, why did I move to America? Or what are the differences between America and Australia? So I might even do a video on that next. Let me know what you want to see. And watch the journey of this aspiring actress fail. I mean, make it. Make it. Okay, bye.